Thistlewit is a member of the trio of pixies that are given the job of taking care of Princess Aurora when she is first born for 16 years in a small cottage in the woods. And they have to um, change from their pixie forms to become humans to keep it a secret from the rest of the world, or so they think they're doing. In the group of pixies, Thistlewit is the youngest member. Um, and she is, I, th I, I, I think for me, she's more sort of away with the fairies than the other two. She's more distracted by nature and, and, and wants to smell flowers and wants to dance around. And she's kind of a much younger free spirit than the other two. The other two, there is a funny <laughs> competitiveness between the other two in the fact that Knotgrass is kind of the leader of the Pixies, but Flittle sort of wants to be the leader, whereas Thistlewit is just kind of happy bouncing around and dancing around and sort of enjoying herself, you know, she's, but at the same time she has moments of being sort of like a stroppy teenager. And I also think that she has kind of a, a, a connection with Princess Aurora because she's closer in age. Whilst Aurora is growing up and she is going through trouble and she is, you know, she's being, a lot of secrets are being kept from her. Um, a lot of truths are not being told. And actually Maleficent is secretly watching her from far away and secretly making um, her own decisions about Princess Aurora and, and um, keeping an eye out for her along with Duval who is also kind of being Maleficent's eyes to keep watch on Princess Aurora. And the fairies are completely oblivious to that. And actually there's some very funny scenes where Maleficent takes advantage of that. <laughs> I hope audiences take away from this film a whole lot of enjoyment. No, I hope, I hope, um, I hope they're excited to see a new twist on it. You know, I hope that they are um, excited to see the story of Maleficent, you know, because I think it's a really, really interesting one. And, and it's such a great journey that uh, the character of Maleficent goes through um, throughout the film. And, you know, I, I really hope that they're transported to a completely different world in the movie theater and they just sit there and they forget everything else that's going on outside and they really are just lost in this creation that Rob has created. And, and I think, um, I also just, I really hope that everyone goes to see it. I hope it does appeal to every single generation. And, um, you know, ultimately I hope it makes people laugh and makes people cry.